Hey guys, Stealth here and welcome back to War on the Sea. In the previous episode, I left you on a bit of a cliffhanger. The Enterprise seemingly under air attack. Origin unknown. All I can tell you is that those are probably too far away from the Shortland Islands. Considering that the Shortland Islands are... Well, actually, no, they might make that. It's 174 nautical miles, so that might be the originating point of those planes. It might not. It might be that there's an aircraft carrier somewhere over here in the Solomon Sea. I'm not sure if the Enterprise is capable of launching aircraft right now. No. Ugh. Point one hour. So I'm off by about six minutes. That's how long I need to vector planes over. Or rather, to be able to launch planes. So, that means that the Enterprise and her escorts are going to have to fend for themselves. The current formation is the Enterprise in spot 3, which is a terrible spot. I'm going to put the Enterprise in spot 2. Um, swap that. Jenkins in the lead. Check. I want the cruisers next to it. So that's Oakland and Chevalier can switch. And San Juan and O'Bannon can switch. Making the formation uh, 1 Jenkins, 2 Enterprise, 3 Oakland, 4 San Juan, 5 Chevalier and 6 O'Bannon. And let's see if this is going to be enough to screen against those incoming planes. I really hope so. Everybody, radar on please. Radars on. Sonars too, although I think it's less likely that we need that. Oh. Incoming aircrafts. Dive bombers. Oh, it's really unfortunate that I cannot have the Enterprise launcher fighters. Those fighter planes would have been so useful right now. Where are they? Oh, they're over to my left, aren't they? They can see the formation, right? Yes, they can. They absolutely can. Um, what ship am I looking from? What direction should I be looking at? Uh, direction... 090, near enough. Ah, there they are. I wonder what target they're going to pick. We're all pretty close together, so I'm hoping that overlapping fields of anti-air fire are going to make these things go down before they drop their payload. One down. Very good. Please don't hit the Enterprise. I need that carrier in one piece. I need that carrier capable of launching aircraft. They are... Definitely diving for the aircraft carrier. Enterprise, turn hard. This is going to be a perfect screenshot, though. Enterprise, hit. Again. Didn't quite get the screenshot there. Status. We have flooding in three compartments and we're burning in one. I think that was all the threat. Yeah, because I can go to times five. Right. We need to get this fixed ASAP. Uh, the Enterprise is in a pretty safe position, so we're going to slow her down. She has a lot of damage control parties, so they should be capable of getting rid of this stuff really quickly. But, uh, well, it could have been worse. It could have been way worse. At least the flight deck wasn't damaged. So I can still launch and retrieve aircraft. Especially retrieving is going to be important because I still have a few flights out there. But I would be really interested to find out where those things came from. Because then I can make short work of it. I uh, just need to find that point. So the plan is send out an Avenger. Or actually maybe send out Wildcats. To make sure that I don't get another attack. That I can intercept anything that they might be throwing at me before it gets here. And... Um, Maybe at the same time do a bit of scouting that way. Now flooding's almost controlled. We're just about ready to send her out again. And uh, unfortunately, it takes 
the Enterprise, or it takes the Japanese, really no losses. Because they can send out as many aircraft as they like. Right, Enterprise. Really? Encounter with the Wildcats? Ah, yes, they found a submarine. That's something I still need to work on. Uh, this was a scout aircraft. You can RTB. We had these guys RTBing. We had another scout out and about. Oh. That's 12 of them. That means that almost the entire wing is out. Okay, that's not good. Wildcat and catch must be resolved. Uh, ignore. Just keep an eye on that submarine, but don't engage it. Come on, Enterprise. Come on. The Wildcats have an encounter with another submarine. Okay. Apparently there are plenty of subs out and about. Enterprise ready to launch aircraft. Finally. Send up the Avengers. Uh, because I first want to see if I can get an attack in on the submarines before I lose track of them. And then hopefully by maneuvering a bit and getting closer to my existing air wing. Well, kind of. Um, I hope that I won't be subjected to further airstrikes. You. Scout out the place. Whoa, more aircraft. Is that the edge of Rabal's operational range? Task Force 19 is being attacked by the air units. Okay. Maybe time to dive. If I can make it out. Usually this is not that hard. <clears throat> oh, wait one. We have wildcats in the area. Never mind. The wildcats could have been used to take down any aircraft that were coming for Task Force 19. It's actually getting a bit interesting here. Enemy aircraft spotted near Avenger. Whoa, that's directly over the Enterprise. I don't care much about these, but I do care about my entire surface group. Because it looks like we're about to get hit again. Jesus, they spawned on top of my group, didn't they? No, not quite. They spawned on top of my one Avenger. What the hell? Yeah, this is the Avenger. It would probably be in your best interest to try and do something against that incoming air attack. Dive bombers again. Avenger has been downed. Okay, so be it. Come on, boys. It looks like the Enterprise is under attack again. We have downed several aircraft. What are you hitting? The Enterprise. Surprise, surprise. This time around the damage is serious. I have lost one aircraft elevator. I'm not sure exactly how that translates into my ability to do or not do damage with this uh, aircraft carrier. We're also flooding. Oh, right, it's not the Enterprise's formation. I need the Jenkins and her whole task force to stop. We keep hitting them, we keep, shoot we keep shooting them down, but they have a limitless supply of these things. Another one down. Enterprise. No, not the Enterprise this time around. This time it's the, Jeff the, the Chevalier taking a hit. That splashed right next to the Enterprise. The damage is substantial here. Moderate damage, minor flooding. At least a lot of the Japanese pilots won't be coming home. But the AI doesn't care about that. The AI only cares about, can I spawn in planes, yes or no? And the answer with them is always yes. So, we have a lot of damage that needs fixing. I think the Enterprise right now can 
well, except for that aircraft elevator, be perfectly fixed. It is going to depend on how much fire damage I'm going to take. If that fire spreads like that, then I could end up getting more damage on the ship. I think I'm going to have to send the Enterprise home for repairs, which is extra bad because the Hornet's also heading home for repairs with the rest of her task force. Because she too was hit. See, we got more fire starting. We're going to have to play whack a fire. And a carrier burns very, very well. Seeing as this is basically a floating airbase. With all sorts of ammunition supplies, fuel storages, and other stuff that doesn't respond particularly well to being set on fire. Engineering is out. Another engineering compartment on fire. This thing's burning and flooding. Integrity is dropping rapidly. Oh crap. Can I just evac the, the whole group? Moderate damage. We need the big E out of here. Set a course. Home. Are they going to arrive in about 40 hours or so? 42 hours. We might still be able to do the attack against the submarine there. But any further air attacks are going to be problematic. No, fine. Can we just get this over with? Thank you. We are not inside of their circle, though. So arguably we shouldn't be getting detected. Can the Enterprise launch aircraft? No, not for about two hours. Contacts. This time around it's Task Force 18 getting scouted. Ignore. 18, continue on your patrol. Oh, hold on a moment. Wildcat encounter must be resolved. Three destroyers? Shit, that's next to the Enterprise. I need you guys to move towards the submarine. Enterprise, can you launch? Not for another 1.2 hours. So I'm being chased down by three destroyers. If I can keep moving, I might be able to outrun them. Oh, they're not even coming for me. Oh, that's all the better. Keep an eye on the destroyers. We can kill those, that'd be great. And now we're going to go into tactical and kill on submarine here. Busy with air ops today. Really busy. Where's your sub? Those are my subs. They should be in here, right? That submarine. Because I was almost on top of them on the strategic map when I sent the aircraft into tactical mode. And I cannot speed the game up. What? New aircraft bearing 255? What the hell? Oh, shit. This is going to turn into a nasty piece of work. You guys, oh, you guys are at periscope depth. Great. Activate radar. Because the Avengers are not very well protected. If at all. Against fighters. So the best thing I can do is get the hell out of here. And try not to lose too many Avengers. The Enterprise is already going back to base to get repaired. But in the meanwhile, they can still pull quite a number against the existing Avengers. Yeah, lost an Avenger number 8. What a mess. Look at this. There's aircraft all over the place. My ability to do damage against these fighters, which I think are zeros, is very, very limited. Especially considering that there's eight of them. So the best I can do is just, well, run in all sorts of different directions and hope that they don't have the speed or the visibility to chase me down. Shit. Sorry about that. That's my Facebook.
Rail gunners trying to do work. Again, the problem is these are probably air-based aircraft. And by virtue of that, they are, uh, well, infinite. Oh, wow. We have downed a few aircraft. Uh, they're infinite. They just can spawn in new ones, as opposed to my aircraft carrier, which cannot consistently spawn in aircraft. Go real slow. Bring that turning circle as small as you can get it. Just clip through right there. So this one's not quite going to make it out. Bomb doors. Oh, not when we need them. Just drop it. And not really. Okay. Uh, we need another 270 seconds. I guess the Grunion and the Barb are not capable of detecting the aircraft just yet. We'll have to wait. Not a great day for the air wing of the, air, uh, the Enterprise. I lost four of my aircraft. Fortunately, a few more have made it out. But attacking this submarine... Well, let's say that with that air cover, it's turning into quite the difficult encounter. Enterprise is still 1.2 hours out. Come on, boys. We have a lot of work to do. Task Force 18 encounter must be resolved. Joy, more planes. Apparently it must not be resolved because time is just continuing. Oh, they're coming south again. Intercept. The Enterprise is going to tell me when she can launch again, but I think we're out of time. No, ah, oh, she can launch in an hour. That's too late. Crap. So this means that virtually all my task forces are out of commission. Task Force 21, under command of the Washington, is going back for resupply and to get some of her cruisers repaired. Um, the Hornet is going back. I might have to turn her around because she still has a sizable air wing. But it was the, yeah, just the tailor that got damaged. So let's split the tailor off and tell her to head to base. And meanwhile, we're going to recommission a... No, that's an air unit. We're going to commission another ship. Oh, sorry, it was the right menu. Give me another Fletcher. Lavalette. Set a course for the Hornet. Well, they'll arrive in about 20 hours. Because by the time that she gets here, the Hornet won't be. I intend on sending the Hornet back there to provide whatever cover she can for the Enterprise. And uh, the Enterprise... she ha Well, she's mostly okay. But she could use a few more aircraft. Maybe I should bombard the Shortland Islands. Especially now that it's dark. My cruisers can do that. So I might be able... Whatever. I might be able to do that. I think the game is a bit bugged because time is continuing. But I can just do the encounter. Or, well, kind of ignore the encounter. Anything here? No. Good. This is turning into a bit of a mess. Hornet. New plan. Head north. Northwest. These guys are... Are they at base or close enough to base? Juno, Cleveland, Tuscaloosa. Release. There. Now I have the Washington, the Softly, and the Nicholas. So they need to be resupplied. Replenish. Done. And then I need to recommission a couple of cruisers. Cruisers of the Heavy Persuasion. Can we commission the Baltimore? Available on April 15, 1943. Yeah, we're still quite a ways away from that. Wichita was commissioned. I think she's in repairs. New Orleans. Yeah, the Tuscaloosa is one we just sent back. Minneapolis. Um, yeah, why not? Minneapolis and San Francisco. Done. I want you to cruise towards the battleship. 
where you can merge with that group, but I have to do a bit of maneuvering with the time. Otherwise, they're going to try and merge with groups that I don't want them to merge with. All ships rearmed. Very good. You don't need any damage control. Set a course back to the front line. Task Force 16 is almost at Rennell Island. It's taking forever to get back there. And the fight in Guadalcanal is still going strong. I want to reduce Shortland Islands to nothing to ensure that I don't actually take any further airstrikes from there. And I'm doing that under a nighttime attack. At least I thought so. Oh, we got two destroyers engaging my two submarines. This is going to be another cat and mouse game. At night, in a terrible sea state. <sighs> Lovely. The conditions for the attack are not only not that good because it's sea state 5. Well, it, that works in both directions. It's also going to make detecting the submarines harder. Although I'm not even sure if the AI cares about that. But also there's no layer, so I have no place to hide. We'll just have to fight. Uh, give me radar. I think we already have them. Whew. Three and a half thousand yards. Okay. Um, Cod, target one. Set a course that way. Oh, sorry. Uh, bonefish, target one. Cod, target two. Set a course that way. Start building a solution. Prepare to fire all six torpedo tubes with a four degree spread. That goes for both of you gentlemen. Solution four, 40 only. Now on both ships rigged for silent running. Boats, not ships. Bonefish is awfully close. Slow down to one knot. Cod, same deal. Be very, very quiet. Bonefish range, 2,000 yards. Solution, 50%. At this point, I think it's okay to launch. In the periscope. Maybe give him a bit more spread. 5 degree spread. Now we're going to go for 6 degrees because there's the possibility that I won't hit target 1. Oh crap, I still need to ID them. But I might hit the other target. Uh, time to ID slash miss ID. Target 1. A Japanese destroyer. Some of these classes are kind of knocked out entirely. So I won't even have to consider them. Uh, nope. Nope. No. Likely an Asashio. Target one. Asashio class. Target two. Definitely not an Asashio class. Is that one of the older guys? Mm, could be. Turrets, torpedo launcher, funnel, turrets. Yeah, they still have ships left of that class. Okay, Bonefish. Uh, your range is 1,700 yards to the target 2. Target 1, 1,200 yards. Solution is now 68. Cod? Not as good. Solution is 42. Activate your radar. Bonefish, here's the plan. We're going to launch and then scoot. Torpedoes away. Torpedoes done. Secure from silent running. Turn that way. And increase the flank. Well, full speed, anyway. Cod, I want you to maintain your position. I'm considering launching with her, but her torpedoes are going to take a lot more time to get to the target. And by the time that they get to the target, the target will have moved. So I'm not going to do it. I'm hoping to knock out the Asashio first, if it is one of those. And then seeing if the, sorry, yeah, if the Matsuki behind it is still going to be a threat. 
Have these guys been damaged at all? No, they have not. Okay, let's say that this thing is, in fact, an Asashio. Is that possible? Yes, there's still plenty of those left. Torpedoes look good. One in the back probably won't hit, but the rest... Well, actually... No. He's going to miss all of it. Please tell me I'm going to hit the, the other target. Because then at least I can get something. Yeah, that might... <laughs> Beautiful. Uh, that was a dud. That was a hit. Hit. At this point, they shouldn't have a stern anymore. Bonefish, how good's your solution on the target? Target 1, Sashio. Not great. Cod? I have a new plan. Stop. Line up your torpedoes on the Asashio. Matsuki at this point should be dead. Because she was hit by one, two, three, four live torpedoes. So I did hit all of them. But only four of them were actually live ones. Critical damage. Okay. How many Matsukis do they still have left? Here. A few. I'm not sure if they know where the cod is. I'm thinking they might not. What's the firing range here? About 1500 yards. The reason why I'm checking that is that because I want to see what this guy is going to be doing. I think the Asashio is charging at full speed. No, 15 knots towards the last known position of the Bonefish, the launching craft. So that gives me an opportunity to intercept her with the torpedoes from the Asashio. I'm oh, sorry, from the, the COD. Solution 66. Scope up. That's the burning destroyer, and here's their healthy counterpart. 64, 66. I think it's kind of where it's going to stay. Fire. Mitsuki's dead in the water. And seemingly sinking. Cod, job done. Secure from silent. Increase the flank. Get out of here. Bonefish, a bit of a course correction. We might need the stern launchers to hit the Asashio again. Depending on whether the torpedoes from the Cod are going to work out. Here are the torps. That's not looking too bad, actually. That's looking quite nice, in fact. Dud. Dud. Hit. That's not enough to sink a destroyer. Unfortunately. I think we did piss her off, though, because she's now going to try and follow the cod. Meaning that the bonefish, if I turn her to starboard, maybe... No, hold on, what's she doing? Course 129 or 128, 127, she's turning back to port. She might have rudder damage, considering the position where she was struck. She might be struggling to maneuver. Port? Heavy damage. Periscope? There she is. Her speed's 15 knots. She's going too fast to use anything other than visual and radar search. Sonar won't work. 20 knots. 21 knots. No, back to 20. Mm. I'm gonna sandwich her.
Called confirm stern launch. Negative. So the plan here is to use the torpedoes from the bone face from one side, the cod from the other, and hope that I can pincer the destroyer between them. In the meanwhile, we're going to drop down a level in case that these guys manage to uh, go deep, these torps. And I don't want to get hit by my own torp. I've done that plenty of times in Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. I'm not caring particularly to repeat that on this game. Let's hope that this... Yep, she was hit again. Let's hope that this attack works. I can barely make out those torps. Oh, these are some of the others. That's coming in from a 180, so that's from the Bonefish. And that means that the torps from the COD might still be here, inbound. Asashio is sinking. One down. Very good. That means we just have to wait a bit. And this thing will go down. I'm actually surprised that the Asashio took two torps and sank. Whereas this thing took four and is still here. How does that work? Give me back to periscope depth. Bonefish, new plan that way. Periscope depth. No. Depth 40 feet. We're not shallow enough. No, sorry. No, 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 no. Periscope. There's the Mitsuki. How are you not dead? Your damage was critical. Let's slow the cod down a bit. One torpedo, manual fire. Not there. Here, target Mitsuki. this works, I will have sunk two destroyers using the weapon that was supposed to be best against submarines. The destroyer. Well, this time around, they're not doing that well. Where the hell's that torpedo? Should have gotten here by now. the hell? Oh, there it is. I th no. What? I thought I saw it here. What the hell? Did that torpedo just harmlessly sail past the target? Cancel manual fire. No degree separation. One torpedo. Solution. 70. There. Fire again. There's the torpedo. No duds, please. Hit. There we go. That's the fifth torpedo and the last one for the Mitsuki. Let's call this a day. Job done, 7 command points gained, no damage was sustained by Bonefish or Cod. Now what did we actually sink? Enemy losses? Uh, we sunk a Mitsuki and an Asashio, so that was pretty accurate. Alright, not a bad episode I'd say, let's leave it here. Unfortunately, Hornet and Enterprise could still use a bit of repairs, but the Washington might take up the slack. It's going to take a while for her to get there. Anyway, that'll be all. Thank you for watching. Hope to see you soon for the next one.